Hello everybody, how are you today? We will be starting a new lesson called Price Determination. So we will be learning about how prices are determined. We know that consumers want low prices, whereas sellers want high prices. So, how is the price of a product determined? Our learning objectives would be to analyze how the interaction of demand and supply determine the equilibrium price, and then we will learn to draw demand and supply diagrams to illustrate equilibrium prices. So, who decides the price of a product? So, let's see what a market equilibrium is. We have a hypothetical supply and demand diagram where we put our prices on the y-axis and the quantity traded, which means I'm talking about quantity supplied and quantity demanded on the x-axis. Now, the point of intersection of the supply curve and the demand curve, which is this point here, I call it my equilibrium point. What does that mean? That we have a market price, let's say for example, it is five. Our market price is $5. At $5, if I keep moving and I touch the supply curve and I go down, my quantity supplied would be 10. And also, if I keep moving and I stop until I touch the demand curve and I go down, my quantity demanded would also be 10. So this tells us that the quantity traded, which is quantity demanded, is equal to quantity supplied equal to 10 units. It has a market price of $5. So in other words, a market is an equilibrium where market demand, market demand, equals market supply. At the equilibrium market price, the quantity consumers wish to buy is exactly equal to the quantity producers wish to sell, which is, in our example, 10 units. If a market is in equilibrium, there are no pressures to change the market price. Now, I would like you to take this little exercise because what we will be explaining next is what if we have this equilibrium. Here we're talking about the market um, demand and supply of chocolate bars being traded and we have different prices. So I would like you to tell me at which price demand is equal to supply. Where do we have access demand? So where my demand is greater than the supply and where we have access supply, which means my supply is greater than the demand. So this should not take you more than five minutes. So pause the video, solve this little exercise and then put play and continue. Right now, what we will be doing, we will be explaining what this equilibrium means. So we will draw demand and supply diagrams to illustrate this equilibrium prices. Also, we will be interpreting demand and supply schedules and curves to identify where we have shortages and surpluses. A shortage is when you have access demand, and we will explain it in a while, and a surplus is where you have access supply. Now, let us, before we explain the market equilibrium, right now we will be explaining something called market disequilibrium. So again, if this is, if my market price is equal to five and my quantity traded, which was quantity supply, my equilibrium quantity, which was quantity supply equal to quantity demanded was equal to 10 units, I call this point equilibrium. Now what I'm going to explain 
is the disequilibrium and I will be using the glue pen. Let's say at a price of $10, this is considered to be a high price. So at a price of $10, the demand was low. The demand was low. It was not 10, it was let's say 5. And the supply, because it's considered to be a high price and sellers want high prices, they were willing to supply more. So let's say the quantity supplied was 15. So here at $10, we say we have excess supply. Price will need to fall to persuade consumers to buy more and for producers to contract their supply. So there will be a movement along the supply curve. Now at that point, I want to calculate how much surplus do I have. So at 10, quantity supplied was 15, and my quantity demanded was 5. So I have a surplus of 10 units. So what did I do? I subtracted the quantity supplied minus the quantity demanded. If you get a positive answer, it means you have excess supply or I can call it surplus. Now, what I will be doing with the green color, it would be the excess demand. So here the prices are low. P2, let's say it would be $3. At $3, because prices are low, as you can see, my supply would not be high. My quantity supplied would be 5, whereas my quantity demanded, because it's considered to be a low price, it would be higher. So again, it would be 15. Here, if I want to do quantity supplied minus quantity demanded, which is 5 minus 15, I will be getting negative 10. So there is a shortage of 10 units. So here I say the demand was greater than my supply. So what are we supposed to do here? Prices will need to rise to reduce consumer demand and to encourage producers to supply more. So what is a market disequilibrium? It is if the quantity consumers wish to buy, so the quantity demanded is not matched by the quantity producers wish to sell. A useful tip, please draw a demand and supply diagram when explaining how prices move from disequilibrium to words equilibrium. Okay, so demand and supply of a product, it determines the price of a product. So what determines the price of the product? It is my demand and supply of the good. So here you guys, this is an equilibrium point. So this is like a summary. There is no shortage and there is no surplus. So at that point, my quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied. I call this equilibrium quantity. And the price will not change until there is either a shift in my demand curve or my supply curve. Now the equilibrium price, this one, is the price at which the quantity of a good demanded in a given time period equals to the quantity supplied. So, what is my equilibrium price in this example? My equilibrium price would be 20. I call that equilibrium price. And what is my equilibrium quantity? it would be 39. This is called my equilibrium quantity, where quantity demanded is equal to quantity supplied, and it is equal to 39. 
Now, how can I resolve a market surplus? So I'm talking about that area here. How can I fix that problem? Because I want it to reach equilibrium. What am I supposed to do? When a new product comes onto the market, the sellers must set a price. If they set it too high, then there will be a surplus. In a surplus, sellers can sell the amount they wanted to, and they get stuck with excess inventory. So they are unhappy. Here, at that point, my suppliers are considered unhappy, and they need to lower the price. So here, suppliers are unhappy, and they need to lower the price until they reach equilibrium. Okay. So the green shaded area is a surplus and they need to decrease the price as you can see the orange arrows until they reach equilibrium. Now how do I resolve a market shortage? Again, I know that a shortage means my quantity demanded is greater than the quantity supply. So it means I'm talking about that green shaded area here. So if the firm sets the price too low, so the prices are lower than the equilibrium, they're considered to be low prices, a shortage situation is created. Unhappy buyers, so here the buyers are unhappy. Unhappy buyers find that the product is sold out in order to ensure that they get one next time they offer who offers the higher price for it the suppliers should increase the price this starts the bidding process and the price will begin to move upward until it reaches equilibrium the upward moving price triggers both buyer and seller behaviors so a market shortage this is what it means it means also that the prices are considered to be too low and my demand was greater than the supply. Thank you guys. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. Have a lovely day.